gonna start off with Mount Mitchell, high summit east of the Mississippi. We're gonna head over to Mount Craig. Uh, weather looking pretty good today. So we're gonna see how many summits we can cover before turning around. Winds probably 10, 15 miles per hour, about 60 degrees. But uh, we're gonna get started. Here we go. Just a short, about a couple hundred yard, 300 yard walk up to the high summit. Nice path right here uh, to get to Mount Mitchell High Summit east of the Mississippi River. And we'll be there shortly. Here at top of Mount Mitchell. And today we'll be going out that way toward Mount Craig, Big Tom, Boston Cone, Cattail Peak, and hopefully Potato Hill. views from Mount Mitchell, little butt, big butt. Gibbs Mountain backdrop. We got Grandfather Mountain way out there. All right, Mount Mitchell, highest peak east of the Mississippi, 6,684 feet. We're getting ready to head to the second highest peak here soon. It's beautiful views walking down Mount Mitchell. And off in the distance is where we're going next. Mount Craig, second highest summit east of the Mississippi. All right, as you hike from Mount Craig, which is a popular place a lot of tourists get off at, you'll get onto the Deep Gap Trail, also known as the Black Mountain Crest Trail, and hike your way across the uh, remote Black Mountains. Like I said earlier, we're on our way to Mount Craig. It's about a mile from here, and um, it's part of the Deep Gap Trail or Black Mountain Crest Trail. Leaving Mount Mitchell on the Deep Gap Trail to Mount Craig, as you can tell, the trail starts off pretty easy. But as we keep going, the trail is gonna get very technical. As you can see, we've got a sweatshirt on, pants, a beanie, got gloves packed. You never know what the weather's gonna be like on the Black Mountain Crest Trail. So right now, got the beanie and sweatshirt on. Got a feeling as we get farther on, might lose some of the uh, some of the clothes, but um, it's probably about just to give you an idea. It's probably around 70s in Asheville today. Heard it's around pushing 90s back home in Franklin County. And up here, it's around 60s. Like I said, wind was probably 10 to 15 miles an hour. Some of the steps leading down, rock steps leading down off Mount Mitchell as we get ready to summit Craig here in a little bit. One of my favorite parts of the trail opens up out here. You can see Mount Craig right there in the distance. We're getting ready to climb up. But uh, Crest Trail or Deep Gap Trail opens up out here, as you can see. Just some pretty uh, cool views.
trees were damaged some by insects and some by just the extreme weather up here as well as possibly acid rain and things but yeah check out these views my partner in crime Mary. Just as you can see, some of the trail, not exactly a flat or leveled out trail. A lot of roots, rocks that you're climbing up. Probably can tell I'm out of breath as we're climbing Craig. Start to a fun journey. Approaching close to the top of Mount Craig. It's one of my favorite parts of the hike. We've got the wooden planks here to protect endangered plants. We'll stop and show a view right here. Approaching the summit of Mount Craig. And we are at the top of Mount Craig. Look at these views. Summit marker. Here we are. Summit of Mount Craig. Summit of Mount Craig, 6,647 feet. Second highest summit east of the Mississippi. All right. You can see behind me. All right, coming down Mount Craig on our way to Big Time. And uh, I encourage anybody who comes to Mount Mitchell Park to uh, definitely make the mile trek over to Mount Craig. Mitchell's always full of a lot of tourists, people getting off the parkway. But Mount Craig, as you can see, you have your solitude and a whole nother experience. If I didn't mention this before, bring lots and lots of water because you can always dump the water out if your bag gets too heavy, but limited water sources on the Black Mountain Crest Trail. I think a couple of spots with a creek, but uh, definitely bring lots of water. All right, in between Mount Craig and Big Tom, is a little part you can pull off on to the left. And as you can see, you can see the rest of the Black Mountains or most of them over to your right. Right there, Big Tom, heading to next. Then the next one, Boston Cone, fourth highest peak, east of the Mississippi. And the backdrop, we've got Potato Hill, Cattail Peak, and way back there, Celo Knob, somewhere around there, Winter Star Mountain, and a few others. Coming down Mount Craig 
on the way to Big Tom. A little side path you can see where a plane crashed into Mount Craig. You venture off a little bit of, off of Craig. see the plane crash site and God bless those that were involved. All right, approaching summit of Big Tom. There's a sign, 6,580 feet. Summit marker. Right, right there, heading next, Boston County, fourth highest peak, east of the Mississippi. Quite a climb, a little bit of technical trip. All right, heading down Big Tom, and we'll eventually be approaching some ropes here in a little bit. Uh, this is where the trail gets just a little more technical with ropes, and uh, you kind of got to watch your step. And here's one section of the ropes we're getting ready to do. All right. All right, we got another section of ropes coming down big time here. We're getting ready to do. Just got done coming down Big Tom. Now we're getting ready to head up to the summit of Boston Cone and get ready to do this climb. View of some of the trail of the Deep Gap Trail as we are getting ready to summit Boston Cone here in a few minutes. Tell I'm out of breath. This will be our fourth summit. I already dropped a sweatshirt down to a t-shirt now as the weather has changed quite a bit. Wind has calmed down, plus we're inside the forest. Beautiful trail. All right, Deep Gap Trail sign. We are right here. Still a little ways to Boston Cone. And if, it, if we feel good, we're gonna make a stretch to Cattail Peak, Potato Hill, and turn around at Potato Hill. more of the trail as we're summiting Boston Cone. As you can tell, not your average trail. You gotta watch where you put your feet at. All right, still summiting Boston Cone, fourth highest peak. East. I 
and definitely a good workout. All right, approaching the summit of Balsam Cone. No summit marker up here that we know of, or that my hiking buddies and I know of, but I always go right here. As you can tell, this one has got trees on it, so not a lot of views, but fourth high summit east of the Mississippi, Balsam Cone, 6,611 feet. But if you walk over here, you can get a little bit of view right here. Beautiful. Summit of Balsam Cone. All right, summit of Balsam Cone, 6,611 feet. Are you tired? A little. I am too. We're gonna keep pushing to Cattail Peak, maybe Potato Hill. Weather's good, feeling it for sure, but uh, heading on to Cattail Peak next. All right. Some video of the trail as so we're heading toward Cattail Peak, leaving Boston Cone. Warming up out here today. It's part of the Deep Gap Trail, also known as Black Mountain Crest Trail. Another cool view on the way to Cattail Peak. All right, approaching the summit of Cattail Peak. As you can see, it's wooded, but, um, here is a sign. It says Cactail Peak Summit Elevation, 6,583 feet. Uh, deep gap going ahead to the camp area, three miles back to Mount Mitchell. This is a false summit sign. There's actually a marker. If you bushwhack off trail that way a little ways is the actual summit marker. But this is a uh, Cactail Peak. All right, say hello, Marianne. Hey. <laughs> All right, we decided to skip looking for the summit marker. Uh, not feeling the bushwhack today and trying to make it to Potato Hill and then turn around. It's got a little ways longer. We'll descend, go back up and we'll be at Potato Hill and then we will turn around. Going down cattail is always fun. As you can see, some steep terrain as we're coming down Cattail Peak. Always gotta watch out for the wet rocks on this trail.
All right, I'm gonna make the last push up the potato hill and that'll be our stopping point for today. So as you can see, pretty steep climb ahead of us. See in the distance, Cattail Peak, we just came down and getting ready to finish up going up Potato Hill. How you feeling? Good? It is, yeah. Get up here to a little bit of a view as we're still summiting Potato Hill. We got a view right over here. Oh, wow. In the backdrop, some of the summits we've already climbed and we'll be returning to soon. Looking back at Cattail Peak from going up Potato Hill. All right, closing in on the summit of Potato Hill. See out here, we got some views. And we're coming up to the summit. Well, let's check out this view first. Wow. Pretty cool. All right, up here, we've made it. Summit of Potato Hill, 6,475 feet. It's got some views up here and the eighth highest summit east of the Mississippi. And if you look in the distance out there, way out there, CeeLo Knob. That would be the end of the Crest Trail, then heading down 3,000 feet. But today, this is Potato Hill will be our turnaround point. All right, we're at Potato Hill. This concludes how far we're going on the Deep Gap Trail today, Black Mountain Crest Trail. Started in Mitchell, did Mount Craig, Big Tom, Balsam Cone, Cattail Peak, and six Potato Hill. Six summits, many of them above 6,000 feet in elevation. And uh, now it's time for the return trip. Another view from Potato Hill. And where we got to head back over those summits. Wife hanging out down there. Hello. Hey. And pretty cool views. All right, we're on the return trip. Right back behind me, summit of Boston Cone. We've got three more to summit again. Big Tom, Mount Craig, and back to Mitchell. So probably around just under three miles left, filling it, but uh, totally worth it.
All right, one set of ropes conquered. Got one more set on Big Tom to conquer. And we're on our way to summon in Big Tom. Probably can hear me out of breath. I know why the North Carolinians nicknamed this trail the Death March. <laughs> it is definitely a muscle pounder, ankle breaker. Good time. All right, hit the second set of ropes. Some uphill elevation, going back up big time. Looking like she don't need to rope too much. All right, back to the summit of big time. Take a little break. Those views over to Mount Craig, right there. And then back to Mitchell to finish it out. Still back at Big Tom Summit, looking back where we came from. Right through there is Boston Cone, Fourth High Summit, Cattail Peak, Potato Hill, way back there. All right, climbing back up Mount Craig. This came from Big Tom, Boston Cone, and Cattail Peak, Potato Hill. And on our way back to Craig and Mitchell. All right, Mount Craig Summit. There's a marker. Here is the views. Second highest summit, east of the Mississippi. Oh, I'm getting tongue tied there. How you feeling? Good. All right. Clear view today. One more to go. Mitchell way over there and we're done. I keep asking myself, why do I keep coming back to the Black Mountain Crest Trail, Deep Gap Trail? It's easily the most physical, physically draining and mentally draining hike I've ever done. But after I get done today, I'll wake up tomorrow, I'll be dead tired, probably pop a few Tylenol, but then within a few hours, I'll start thinking about this trail again. Truly one of the top, if not the top trail I've ever done. I mean, and the views are amazing. The up and down of the summit, the views, everything just keeps bringing me back to experience it more and more. All right. Almost there, got the last push to Mitchell ahead. I will be done. It's been a fun trip. Pause for the calls and look at these views.
All right, back to the Mitchell parking lot. Say hello. Hey. There she is. And we got one more push. We're gonna go do Mount Mitchell one more time and finish it for good. But this has been the Deep Gap Trail, Black Mountain Crest Trail, over to Potato Hill and back. All right, going up the last little bit to Mitchell. Drop the backpack off, hiking shoes, put the tennis shoes on. And we're going to complete the full trip up here. And a lucky day today on the return trip. It's not often you get these views up here to yourself. All right, this completes our trip. Marion and I on the Black Mountain Crest Trail. Six summits, we started in Mitchell. Number one, East of Mississippi. Went to Mount Craig, number two. Then Big Tom. Then went to Boston Cove, number four. Highest, East of the Mississippi. On over to Cattail Peak. Finished at Potato Hill, number eight. Highest, East of the Mississippi. We've got about seven hours in, about eight miles, about a mile, an hour, give or take. Uh, feeling it? How are you feeling it? All right, cool, she's feeling it too, so uh, good time. Yeah, it's not often you get this to yourself up here. All right, we're finishing up our hike today, like I said earlier. Mount Mitchell. Highest point east of the Mississippi. And we came from way over there. Mount Craig, Big Tom, Boston Cone, Cattail Peak, Potato Hill. All right. All right. That completes our trip of the Black Mountain Crest Trail. Good times. Good times. All right. Until next time. I'd like to thank my family, friends, Marianne, for putting up with me in this tough mental, physical hike. And give a shout out to my buddy Keith, who has taught me a lot about this trail. Follow him on YouTube. I'll put that link up here soon. And uh, he has some great hikes. So shout out to you as well, Keith. And uh, until next time, till the next adventure. Not often you get to top of Mount Mitchell to yourself. Here is the 360 views. And back to the view of the Black Mountain Crest Trail, top of Mitchell, highest summit east of the Mississippi.